The June and November elections in 2022 will decide the mayor, city attorney, and city and controller, as well as odd numbered council districts and even numbered LA Unified School District. The mayor is the chief executive for the city of Los Angeles, and many of the programs that Angelinos will experience um, are part of the mayor's proposed budget. And so to weigh in on that, you need to vote for that office. The city attorney will handle any misdemeanor prosecutions and neighborhood conflict resolution. And the controller watches all the city's funds. So it is really important for Angelinas to vote for an individual that they have confidence will keep watch over the city's funds and make sure that they're, they're expended appropriately. The city council and the mayor decide how funds are spent here in the city of Los Angeles. So that will mean the impact on your life will be which streets are paved or which trees are trimmed or how many trees are trimmed. So it can have an everyday impact with fire, with police. So to vote for your local representative probably has one of the largest impacts on your everyday life. And so that's why we encourage everyone, if they're eligible to vote, to make sure you are registered and to vote at the local elections. If an Angelino is already registered to vote, they will automatically receive their ballot in the mail. If you're not registered to vote by May 23rd, register to vote either online at a post office or here at the Los Angeles City Clerk's Office. If you're not already registered to vote and, you, and a vote center is open, yes, you can go in and register to vote right there and they will give you what is called a conditional ballot. June 7th, and that is the final day you are able to vote. If you're mailing it, it must be postmarked by that day or you can vote at a vote center that day, but that is the last day. Now many vote centers are open up to 10 days in advance and all vote centers are open four days in advance of election day. If you need additional information such as where different drop boxes or vote centers are, you can go to lavote.gov.